Hello and welcome to vlog number six, me learning to play the harp. And before we get into the playing, I want to show you my new setup for my harpsicle harp that I've come up with uh, using a few cheap components. What I've done here is I've used my harp and the harpsicle stick. Normally it just puts over your legs like that and that's okay, but it does sort of tip a bit and obviously it's not static. Uh, so a few other components. I found this really cheap guitar stand in my storeroom. It's one of the cheapest you can buy. It's quite long and what I've done, I've put a couple of cable ties on the end and cut them off as stops. I also have this stool which happens to be exactly the right height and I put it lengthways. I put the guitar stand up against it, I suppose you can see which way this is going. And I've adjusted the height of the stick to here which is just about right for me. Basically and carefully I, I drop the harp into here and I let the stick travel to the bottom and it just sits on the stool. And that's more or less it really. And when I go to play I just sit in nicely, maybe a little bit of tweaking of the stand. Um, but it's, strings are straight um, and I can sit behind it and it's pretty solid and that's cost me nothing extra because I had the stand, I had the stool and obviously I have the cable ties and I can play in a very comfortable position as though it were a floor harp. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. No substitute for the proper thing. Obviously the proper harpsicle stand costs in this country about £74, 20p and I've made a few inquiries to get one of those but in the, in the meantime I'm pretty happy with this, uh, this little setup. It's a little bit a little bit Heath Robinson as we say, um, a little bit lashed together, but it's infinitely better than having it uh, balanced on my lap. So in this country in the last uh, few weeks and in the US there's been some terrible acts of violence and terrorism and just in case you were feeling a bit jaded about the world and the people in it, I want to tell you about a couple of acts of real genuine kindness that I've experienced in the last week. Uh, the other day the postman knocked and I went to the door and there were a couple of parcels and uh, one of those parcels contained this DVD, How to Play the Harp Today uh, by Laurie Riley. Uh, this was from my good friend Frank who you've heard me mention many times in the, in the vlog and he sent this to me, he's got one like it, and he says it's really good. I've had a quick look at it and it is really good. I've been learning a lot, especially about how to hold the harp. And in the same post was another package. I thought, oh, Frank sent me a couple of things. But no, lo and behold, from another friend of mine in America called Wally, uh, were these three books. I couldn't believe it. Uh, the Harp School Harp Method by Darlene Walton. This is a book written specifically for my harp, or the harpsicle harp. Um, another book, which is called uh, Beyond the Cliffs of Moa, which that's the name of a tune. And it says for small harps, small and large harps, with no sharps and no flats, which is great. Lots of really nice tunes in that. And the third book was a book of Turlo O'Carolan tunes, famous blind harpist from Ireland for the harp skill harp. And these all came from my good friend Wally, who's uh, one of my uh, Melodian students in America. And so, wasn't that amazing? And an amazing coincidence that the two people I knew on the other side of the world decided to uh, give me presents and they came in the same post. So there is a lot of goodness in the world still. Don't be disheartened. Anyway, we're gonna get into the, the vlog properly now and I'm gonna show you what I've been practicing in the last few days. It's been about a week since I did my last vlog and in that time I've been experimenting as you've seen with the position of the harp and also trying a few new tunes. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of bits I've been practicing. One thing I can definitely tell you is that I'm very right handed. When I'm playing with my right hand I feel quite confident and sort of strong. The left hand feels a bit weak and weedy and I'm sort of struggling to remember to bring the thumb up. I'm sure lots of beginners uh, have this especially if they are uh, more right-handed than left-handed or vice versa. 
One of the books I've been using is a book that I found in the, uh, the case with the harp, which is a, a Sylvia Woods book. And uh, a couple of very simple tunes, Yankee Doodle, Go Tell Aunt Rhody, and also uh, something she calls Are You Sleeping, but I know it is Frere Jacques, the old French folk tune. So I'm going to start with those three. Um, I'm just going to play the right hand for the moment. Like a lot of instruments, getting comfortable is the massive part of it before you even play a note. And definitely so with the harp. And this feels quite good. Still a bit wobbly. Um, uh, I heard back from um, Pilgrim Harps in the UK so when they don't have uh, the proper standing stock. So I'm going to wait uh, to order one from the US, I guess. So my little rig will have to do for the moment. Um, so Yankee Doodles in the key of C. So all my levers are down. Just in case you don't know, this has got levers on the C's and the F's. So you can play in uh, G major and D major as well as C major and the relative minors of those three keys, A minor, um, E minor and B minor. I'm playing in C major and I'm starting off on the C above middle C, so that's this red string here. One thing I can tell you is that you've got to keep your fingernails short, um, that short. As a guitarist I'm used to having my fingernails short but um, by guitarist standards uh, now it's had to be even shorter for the harp. I found as tiny as bit of nail will catch. And I'm, I've read that uh, harps that have all steel strings, I think they're called wire harps, you can pluck those with your fingernails, but I wouldn't fancy that much. I, I like the nylon strings on this Celtic harp. One of the things I like in that is the way you change position when you do this. To do that run down, so you go from that F to the E, play with the thumb, both of those, you think, because on the run up, it's four, three, two, one, and then you need one, two, three, four to get down, and then of course the final run you've got. Now to try and play that with the left hand, I've really struggled. I'm not going to show you that because I'm just pretty rubbish at it basically, but it is a lot harder. Okay, let's have a look at Go Tell Aunt Rhody. These are all simple folk tunes I've played loads of times on other instruments, so I'm very familiar with them. That really helps. If you're learning, definitely big tunes that you know, and then you don't have to think about the timing too much. So this one is lower pitched. It's still in C. It starts on the E above middle C. The brackets are there to remind you what fingers to put down before you start playing a phrase. They're simple tunes, but very satisfying to play. Are You Sleeping or Frere Jacques? Starts on middle C. That's this red string here. of horrid buzzes and that as I'm using very poor technique. I'm not terribly sure how to get rid of that buzzing when you play the string twice in a row but I'm hoping someone out there might tell me or I might discover it myself of course. So that's Sylvia Wood's book. Um, another book I'm using is one that um, my friend Wally sent me from America and it's this book here which is the, uh, the book to start with on the Harpsicle Harp by Darlene Walton. She's also done a very good set of videos. Um, so this one, uh, tunes I'm playing at this are Ode to Joy, which I'm not going to show you, it's not going to be good on that yet, and All Through the Night, I'll play a little bit of this, I might have to do it in a couple of uh, stabs. But this one, the old, uh, the famous old Welsh folk tune, of course. This one starts up here on the C, um, and nice change of position quite early on in this. couple of times. Now a nice new bit of technique here to try. Two notes together. Um, I think she's talks about undoing a sauce bottle 
action for this. Uh, see if I can get this right. Again, it's early days and I'm struggling, a bit nervous. There's no left hand yet. Um, <clears throat> I'm not even going to think about that until um, I'm confident my right hand can take it a step at a time. I'm not going to rush this. It might be a while uh, until I do another vlog because I want to take my time and, and practice hard and show you some kind of improvement on the next time. One little uh, hint I got from uh, Laurie Riley's DVD that Frank sent me is keeping the hands at heart level, not sort of up there somewhere, sort of down here. That's that's because if, the, if your hands are reaching up, the, the harps in the wrong position. This is possibly a tad high. This heart, I'm not sure, but the very favourite tune that I'm playing at the moment is something that I got from Tiffany Schaefer, which is this tune, which I've made a little score of, which is the, the fisherman's uh, song for attracting the seals. And again, this is right hand only at the moment, although she does say in her tutorial that it's fine just to play it right hand wise. And uh, I really love this one. Um, so I am only right hand at the moment. There's a lot of technique in this. Um, she suggests that when you play the first phrase, you get quieter and quieter, uh, like a, an echo, the seals echoing out to sea kind of thing. So anyway, uh, let's see if I can play a little bit of this for you. Here we are. I don't know about the fisherman's song for attracting the seals, it should be renamed the fisherman's song for attracting the dog, because I can hear Jack in the background uh, pitter-pattering about, I've just about managed to keep my concentration. So um, Tiffany, if you've watched that, I apologise for wrecking your beautiful tune, I don't know you didn't write it, but your arrangement, but I'm trying hard. Like lots of instruments, there's a lot of technique uh, with this instrument. And that's just the right hand. I haven't even got to the left hand yet, though I've, I have figured it out. So there we are. Um, pretty painful in places, but it's a slow, slow process. A lot of the problem is that I'm 64. So obviously um, I'm not as quick as I would have been years ago. Um, <clears throat> my musicianship is helping me, but my age is against me, I guess. So I'm going to keep on keeping on. Like I say, might be a while until I do another vlog. There's no point posting a vlog until I've improved. I uh, want to try and get those tunes really nailed and start putting in some left hand, making my left hand feel stronger and more confident. If you have any comments, please post them. Um, if they're polite, I'll publish them. If they're not, I won't. Um, and don't forget to uh, press the subscribe button and the like if you do like the video. Um, anyway, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next vlog.